And it's like, hey, you want to get something to eat? And it was just, it was constant. I mean, we saw each other. It was. We became really good friends. But we had some of, I mean, just some of the craziest experiences. Like, when we first got there, I remember um, the New Zealand had just won the America's Cup, which, you know, they raised. And there were, I, I just found this picture the other day, which is why I remember this. It's so great. Um, so there's the biggest parade they have ever had was when we were there. There's like a million people that live, I can't remember if it's a million people in New Zealand or a million people in Auckland. It was Auckland. In Auckland. But there were, I mean, something crazy, like 100,000 people were in this parade because it was like every single band in town, whether it was like, you know, kindergartners with kazoos or you know, it was like everything. And I remember that we were, we, you know, we didn't realize this parade was going to be so big and we wanted to see it. So it's it's down Queen Street, just sort of like the, the main boulevard in Auckland. And yeah, it's so great, right? So, so you know, it's there's like the, the crowds are like 20 people deep, and we cannot like see anything. And we want to, you know, we want to see this. It's this amazing experience. So Greg, he talks this like little adorable Vietnamese woman into letting us like like go to the upstairs of her apartment and climb out the window on top of the balcony like on the roof of the thing. It's only, we have the most amazing pictures, but it's all because you like sweet talked your way into the place. You know, I mean the funny part of it is is you're over there and everybody was asking us, they're like, Are you excited about the America's Cup? And I'm like, uh yeah. I'm like, sure I, I can't yeah. Wow, it's great, you know, and I'm having to go to the internet going, America's Cup is what now? I mean, it is a huge deal to them over there. And I mean, worldwide, I mean, you had guys coming in yachts. I mean, it was, they had built this little city down by the hotel that we were staying at um, over the course of a six month period just to host the, uh, the cup there. And I mean, everybody, I guess, thinking, as us as Americans, you know, were really excited about it, but the sad reality was is it doesn't get any exposure over here at all. I mean, it's ESPN.com. You've got to go like 20 pages deep to find out anything, if anything at all. And, um, you know, I mean, the reaction, I think, was just snotty little snooty Americans, whatever it was at the time. But, you know, it's you just weren't familiar with the America's Cup. But, um, come on, tell the story. Come on. Come on. It's, okay. it's never been heard before, just one time. It, it hasn't been heard before for a very specific reason. <laughs> Yeah, that's because that's I, I now have some tunes you are. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell it. Come on, please. Okay, so there is the story that Greg will tell, and then I will try to make it not as bad. <laughs> 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 um, it involved when we uh, we went to a barbecue at Lucy's house. When we first got over to New Zealand. And, Brand um, new. Don't know anybody. That, well, not like we I know. like two days. I know. Uh, <laughs> she, she didn't know. So we're over with uh, Rob and Lucy, and they're doing this barbecue. And um, you know, I mean, they've got crew, cast, everybody's just sort of mingling around. I mean, they set up the and whole entire. And there were three shows shooting, shooting at that time. So it was, it was Jack of all trades, Hercules, and the twenty twenty-five. Cleopatra. Twenty-five. 25 yeah. So, oh yeah, that's right, Hercules. <coughs> had already right. left. So anyway, we're over there and I mean there's, you know, 100 people, maybe more, and I mean everybody's getting drunk, everybody's this, everybody's that, and just kind of grabbing food, sitting wherever, chit-chatting. Uh, well, Adrienne grabs her plate and sees a little table and she finds a spot and she sits down and she starts for the mingling with everybody <laughs> and she looks right in front of her to a guy that's sitting directly in front of her and she's like, so, what do you do? Are you part of the construction team? I did not say that! <laughs> This guy is just kind of sitting there staring at her. I mean, like Receiving. lasers Receiving out of his eyes, just staring there. And she's just kind of like, uh, what do you do? And Bruce Campbell proceeds. <laughs> and um, he's like, I'm an actor. And she's like, oh, really? On what? <laughs> and she's like, um... He's like, uh, I'm, I'm on one of the shows around here. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here. He <laughs> was like, wow. Did yeah, you was, just really do that? <laughs> I, I, I have to say, my memory of this is not quite as <laughs> <laughs> But um, 
but it was nearly death by foot and mouth. Um, but yeah, it was a group of people. Everybody else at the table were camera ops and cinematographers, et cetera, and so forth. And I was just talking to everybody at the table that I was, I didn't watch horror movies, and my parents didn't let me do that. <laughs> I was totally clueless, and he was very offended. <laughs> so luckily, at, at a convention a couple of years later, we smoothed it all out. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely put my foot in it. That, that was, yes, that was my shining moment. But I think the thing that she didn't realize at the time either was that, you know, Ted, uh, Bruce, uh, Sam, Rob, I mean, you know, they come back from the old school. They work together all the time. You know, everything That's that sure. they've done, they've done together. And I mean, if you don't know that and you haven't followed their body of work per se, then, you know, you get face to face with somebody. Hey, I, I'm gonna, well, I'll tell a story on myself then, okay? Yeah. Golden Globes about maybe six years ago, seven years ago, somewhere, might even been longer than that. Um, back in the green room uh, during an intermission, and I'm with a friend who was nominated for something, and um, I'm going over and I'm in line to get a beer. It, it gets crazy back there because you know all of LA is alcoholics and we all need our alcohol. So um, I'm standing in front of this, uh, it's a pretty good looking blonde haired kid. And the line is, I don't know, maybe from here to that back wall. But there was, you know, several different lines, but they were all about that long, so I just chose one. So I turn around, I'm looking for my friend, can't find her. And sure enough, he's like, hey, man, what's going on? So we just start chit-chatting. And I'm like, so what are you doing? He's like, uh, I'm a singer. I'm like, fantastic, man, that's great. So we're in line the whole entire way to get our drinks. And um, after we get done with our drinks, he's like, you know, this, this was really cool. And I was like, yeah, man, it's been nice to meet you. I said, what's your name? And he goes, my name's Lance. And I said, Lance, I said, this is fantastic, man. I said, it's really great to meet you. I said, but you've got to remember something about L.A. I said, this is a very, very hard town as an actor. I said, you have to keep your head up no matter how much rejection you get. In one day, if you try really, really hard, you are going to make it. I walked away. Get over to uh, my friend that I'm with, and she's like, um, "Oh, I see you were talking to Lance." And I'm like, "Yeah, how, how do you know?" Him? She's like, "That's Lance Bass." And I'm like, "From uh, 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 NSYNC?" And she's like, "Yep, that's Lance Bass from NSYNC." And I just told him, "Wow!" 